Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching th this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, at 23 years old, Eno Kipkoet Lagat, who is a graduate with a bachelor's degree in commerce, has been reported missing. The family is appealing to anyone who has information of his whereabouts to report it to the nearest police station so that um, they can try to get to him. And uh, this information was also shared by uh, Lamiso Media House. Eh? This is a UDA blogger, Enos Lagat from Songoel, Songo Liet Kapsaret, Wasingishu is reported to have been missing from Saturday, 30th March 2024. He was last seen at Ochumi, Langata, Nairobi. Any information regarding his whereabouts relayed to the nearest police station. Now, CCTV footage have emerged online and uh, it is showing uh, how three men in a Subaru, by the way, two people were in a Subaru with the driver, then another man who was wearing a yellow t-shirt uh, who was closely following uh, Kipkoech while the other ones were in Subaru. So when the Subaru stopped, the other two joined this other one. And uh, after training him, they proceeded to grab him and uh, put him in the Subaru. Then they speeded off very quickly at 23, 21 p.m. All this was happening on March... Uh, uh, um, all this was happening and uh, on March 30th. That's when it was happening. So up to now, his phone has gone off and no one is aware where Enoch Kipkoech Lagat is. And I wanted to watch the, uh, the, the CCTV footage shortly. Then we're going to continue this discussion to understand really what is going on. Because now we are talking about a Subaru, <laughs> and we know how Subaru has been abused by this regime, and even the previous one. With the CCTV footage, then we can proceed to give our comments as we continue with this discussion. Enos Ndoyo, Enos Ndoyo anakuja, Enos Ndoyo. Muna muona? Enos Ndoyo akifinya sima. Enos Ndoyo. Ndoyo Enos. Ndoyo Subaru. Subaru. Do you Subaru? Subaru. Subaru. Do you Subaru? Subaru. Do Subaru. 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 Subaru imeshukisha watu Yena saka watu Enos ndio Ndio watu wameshukua kutoka kwa Subaru Enos ndio huyu Here is Enos, you can see Enos walking These two guys just came from the Subaru Those two guys just came from the Subaru, you can see them Here is Enos on the other side of the road So the two guys have crossed, they are now following him, they are now following him, the Subaru is almost appearing, 
Yes, yes, the Subaru. Watch the movement they are running. These guys are running towards him. They are running. There, they just grabbed him. Watch the Subaru reverse. Watch they open the, the doors behind the Subaru. Not the speed at which the Subaru will leave. There goes the Subaru driving very fast. Now we are continuing this panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our return subscribers. I must say thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, after Enoch Kibkoech Lagat was reported missing, questions emerge about how Kibet on a 2023 Mercedes-Benz GLC 250, a Wood Q5, a Max, a Mac X, and a Subaru Foster, yet he is just an employed graduate. Alipata aja mali kama hii. Yeye hajajiriwa. He's just a graduate. Those are the questions. Though the father is also uh, giving a different uh, uh, views on the same. Because he's saying that he just acquired eh, one old vehicle from him. He bought from his father. But those are the questions that are emerging. Besides this, there are photos that are also emerging online where you see Kibet in the same photo together with the William Ruto and other individuals in a kind of traditional event happening somewhere. Uh, we have those who are alleging that he appears uh, to someone in interior there, something. Mm. Appear, appear to, appears, interior appears, something like that. Those are just allegations, something that I've not confirmed. So I can't base this discussion on that. That means in that photo, as you see him close with the root, it tells you this is someone who is close to power or near to people who are close to power. Therefore, they can engage in business, they can get appointment and all things like those. But he is a connected person to those who are close to power. That's why you can see him posing for a, for a photo with the, this top leadership of the Kenya Kwanzaa administration so with all these questions comes in why was he abducted in a Subaru we know the government has really abused Subaru till many people do not want to buy Subaru anymore because of the history it has had with this country trying to grab someone like this in an open area in as much it was at night, it tells a lot that these are individuals who are well connected and they, they can be suspected that this is people from government or close to government. It's not easy to grab someone like this in an open area like that place. The Uchumi Hyper along Langata Road is an open area where there is enough CCTV cameras, there is enough uh, lighting. So it can only happen if well-connected individual or the government is in operation. That is another truth. So with these Subarus, I'm seeing people asking, oh, mbona mnataja Subaru sana? Subaru metumika bibaya na serikali. Inaeza kuwa ya kwamba, inaeza kuwa ni serikali wanafana hele mambo, wamekua wakifana wakitumia magari za Subaru. That is a possibility. You're talking about a wealthy young graduate who is a jobless. Then a possibility also of being engaged in a other business it can also raise other issues that was he in trouble with the people he has been connected to in terms of the business they do because how do you get such vehicles if you are not in business or working 
Naweza kuwa walikosana kwa biashara kwa njia fulani ama nini or what went on ama ni wanasiasa wamekosana mahali fulani ama deal went wrong then this happening so many questions <laughs> so if you look at him he seems to be restless he was also suspicious even when he was walking he was looking behind several years and walking you know he was totally suspicious that means he knew people were trailing him he knew people were looking for him that means there was a kind of maybe communication he was well aware so in as much he was walking he knew what was going to happen looking at his body language so the worst is that his phone has gone off and we pray and hope that he will be found safe liar and sound mind i don't know your views but let us be in the comment section to continue with this discussion thank you so much and see you in our next video